Hey folks, Coolie Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld Alpha 13 on Extreme Difficulty. And things have definitely been pretty extreme. Right now, we've got a nice little lull, which probably means something horrible is about to happen. The toxic buildup is over, which is huge. Um, and, uh, you know what I don't want? And so we've, we're able to let people out of the base, which means they're going to get rid of all a lot of these bodies finally. They're finally doing do a little bit of mining and constructing, and it's going to be great stuff. Um, and we've also got Mr. Brown Pants over here, who's a... Probably not wearing much. Maybe there's not... Yeah, I guess there's not enough clothes for him. Oh, but he's a great character. With great stats. And he can haul, which is huge. Um, I think I can tweak. I'm going to make repair a top priority job. Just so that we can get rid of all those. And other than that, I'm okay. Yeah, he can even cook, which is nice. Speaking of cooking... Uh, we're okay on meals now. Yeah, I'm not going to set the infinite job. I mean, we don't really have much to cook with anyway. So it's almost kind of a moot point. We got nothing to hunt. Even if we want to eat human meat, it's all rotten away, so that's not going to be particularly helpful. Yeah, repairing that stuff is nice. The traps are nice. Oh, uh, one thing we would like is this steel door here needs to get constructed. So that our defenses are in a correct shape again. Okay, good. This is our stone cutter's table, which will get built at some point. But yeah, we need a lot of materials. We need a lot of steel, a lot of components to finish our current jobs. Uh, this is marble blocks. I guess what I could do here... That should free up enough slate. I'm not sure, but maybe. And I'm going to replace this... With marble. Who's in a poor mood? Fuzzy logic, why? Ugly environment. Sick, yeah. I still have toxic buildup. It's going to take a long time for all that to go away completely. But that's alright. We got our plants. I'm not sure that we're going to get a full harvest, which is too bad. I'm just worried that the year's not going to be quite long enough before we get our first cold snap. Oh, we get some art going on again, which is not a bad thing. Because we do need to pretty up our environment a bit, which will give us a much better um, ability to sustain bad moods from other sources. Yeah, haul the bodies away, please. Just get them out of there. So we don't see the dead bodies anymore. Captain Sledge, who's got the flu, needs a bit of treatment. I don't think we've got any medicine anymore, which is too bad. Lots of stuff to haul. Yes, mine this stuff out. That's going to be very nice. Looking forward to that, because we want to take an advantage. Before there's any snow, and walking outside is a tremendous pain in the ass. Uh, someone else can feed that meal. You focus on mining. Uh, we want to try to mine a bunch of this and then bring it into our base. So I've got a lot of it selected. If Ayu does nothing... But go ahead and do like one more of these before you go feed yourself, buddy. If Ayu does nothing but mine outside the base before winter sets in, I would not be unhappy. I think that would actually be an excellent use of his time. Has everything been repaired? I think so. Still need to rebuild one of these turrets, which we do have the blueprint down. Uh, also these walls and things like that. Where are you going, brown pants? You're going to haul some steel. Oh, that's good. All right. Yeah, getting all that steel inside would be quite nice. We've got some chunks that have to be brought in, too. I mean, that, that doesn't feel quite as efficient, but isn't necessarily unimportant. We'll get rid of the stockpile soon. Actually, let me get rid of it now, because we can stockpile chunks here, and that's going to be fine, because this is going to be a bedroom, so we're going to want to clear that out. Wrong pants. Uh, I cancel that other hauling job from here. That's a little bit far. It's not the worst, but it's okay. Oh, the other thing I'm going to do is change my research here. Brewing is fun and all, but we need to get electric smelting going. I, also, I will need to set up the advanced research bench soon, but I don't think that's the highest priority. we got too many other jobs to finish up first before we get there. I will also want to smooth all this territory out here so that walking through here is just a lot prettier. Just overall keep the beauty counter a bit higher. I mean, even if it's a net, net loss going through here, at least if it's not as bad of a net loss, it'll still be good. And who knows, it's actually probably going to be prettier than a lot of other areas. Still need to set up a proper hospital. Actually, maybe one of these will be a proper hospital. Maybe this room over here. And actually, with that in mind, I mean, I do want all these bedrooms set up, but what's more important is getting a bedroom actually created. That's just you with your flu. So if we can do that, and what do you need... To get a sterile floor. Oh yeah, it's a bunch of silver. We do have a fair bit of silver though. Hmm. I guess, you know what? Uh, maybe the hospital room can be smaller. We'll need a little bit less sterile floor to go and do. And the beauty of the hospital room... I mean, we do want it to be relatively high because sick people have bad moods, right? But, yeah, maybe it's fine. Low food, yeah, 24 bars worth. We. What are we going to do for food? There's still nothing to hunt. God damn it. 
That could actually end up being quite bad here. And there's a raid. Tribes people. They're going to prepare and then attack. I think we're okay with this. Um, what we need to do is, first of all, make sure our animals don't get themselves killed. Uh, secondly, I guess what I'll do is I'll make sure my, my citizens don't get killed. by just uh, Let's leave them in the home area. Just don't wander too close to those guys. And that's going to be fine. I did get everyone right. Yes, I did. Good. So as long as they don't wander too close. And then mostly we'll just be turning on the guns. We've got this door. We've got all our deadfall traps. Yeah, I think we're all right. No one's idle. They got plenty to do in here. It's better if they have access outside, but they're not. They don't have it. It's not that they don't have anything to do though. So there's still lots of productive work they can do in here. Um, I'll, I'll for the sake of argument, I'll enable you know max simple meal cooking here. I suspect that there might not be enough raw food or anything to cook, but it's all right. A little bit of cleaning, lots of power banked up. Poor mood, kicking on brown pants really. Ugly environment, shared bedroom, slept on the floor. Yeah, that's true. And they've begun the result. Okay. So now we need to switch all the restrictions to say, be in area one. And also if someone could please flick the power switch over here, that would be lovely. So mostly it's just gonna, fu gonna get fuzzy logic indoors. We're gonna turn on the power. Uh, you're gonna go for that wall. Interesting, bold choice. And someone's gonna try to smash this. It's a slightly annoying. But they're not actually going to make their way inside there, so that's okay. But we will want to maybe double wall some of the stuff, especially this wooden wall. It's got to be... Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be replaced, but we do want to build a second layer. So a bunch of people are going to die to our deadfall traps. God, this is such a great little defense. I love this. Could almost make it, like, double wide. Like, we could loop around again here, because our people will keep using the doors. Actually, maybe I should do that. Shit. Yeah. Uh, looks like they're definitely going to smash... Probably at least this gun. Oh, they're going to wreck that one, too. And what's annoying is this one, no one's in range. But here, boom! <laughs> they're not running yet. I'm actually surprised about that. Okay, these guys, there's a lot of them. They're doing a lot more damage than expected. That's actually going to be really annoying. Because that's a lot to rebuild. And they're going to smash their way through the doors as well. Some of them might get shot again. Unrestricted. Oh, there's someone. Can, do we want to capture you? Uh, you've only lost an ear. You are... You, you can do everything, and you actually have all good traits. Hello and welcome to the party. Um, you. Capture. You're probably going to be impossible to recruit. I don't remember. Tribes people are a little easier to recruit, aren't they? But then to have shit stats? Maybe we'll be okay. How are we looking? 99. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So, we'll um, we'll actually release him. Maybe we can get the tribes people to like us a little better. That would not be a terrible thing. Okay, we can flick this. We need to... Just haul away the things that are blocking the door here. And then, what do we have? I guess marble. We need to rebuild these walls. And then our turrets. Damn! Oh, and we need a new, say, steel door here. I'd like to smash their way through there. Collins needs treatment. That's just Captain Sledge for his flu. He'll get over it soon, hopefully. Yeah, I would have really loved to recruit him, but yeah, he's too good, so we're not allowed to recruit him. Still working this lamp. <laughs> Eventually it might get done. Still working the stone cutter's table. So many repair jobs here. Unforbid the great bows. Well, I mean, if we can get this hauled inside of our base, then at least at some point soon we will be able to sell a bunch of extra weapons to someone. Jeff over here still working on some art. Wow, there's, this takes forever to do. Holy crap. I guess because it's large. Now, the large ones are still just one by one. Hmm. Brown pants, why are you so upset? Very ugly environment. Oh, yeah, slept on the floor, shared bedroom. Uh, okay, we can get a bedroom set up over here. We need a bed. I guess what I'm going to do is this royal bed blueprint. I mean, maybe I should just work, just do a steel bed. 
or uh, sorry, uh, like a single bed is what I mean. Sorry, a double bed as opposed to a royal bed for now. The materials are going to be a lot less. We don't really have a lot of wood. There is steel kicking around, so... I mean, the wood beds, I think, are better, though. I guess we have enough wood now. It's not showing up as red, so that'll be okay. So let's do that. Let's, um... I'm going to make sure there's a power run going through these rooms here as redundancy. We'll also be ready with uh, some flower pots made out of marble. We'll put a couple in this room. And it's also going to want a heater for the winter. We'll just get it ready. We'll try to get this room as nice as possible. And... Smooth the floor over here. That's going to be a very, very nice room. And a pair of people will share it. That'll be our married couple. How's our plants coming along? 50% grown. We've got seven more days of summer. I think we are going to get a harvest out of this, which is great. Still need a lot of hauling to get done, though. A lot of hauling. And you're going around cleaning, which I guess is fine. I mean, we don't want the ugly environment. That is true. And it keeps Fuzzo doing something. There's, he, he, there's a lot of things Fuzzo can't do. So it's good that he can at least keep this busy. Feed Captain Sledge. We need Captain Sledge to get better soon, because Captain Sledge is one of our more effective characters. We have three that are really effective right now. Hahula, Fuzzo, and Brown Pants. All can do a lot of stuff. People are being stripped. People are being hauled. Wait. Do I allow corpses here? It's not supposed to allow corpses. No, 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 no. You bring the corpses out here so we don't have to see them. Thank you. Maybe my idea over here was overflow storage. But no. So we got animal storage over here. Which is still a good spot for it to be. Poor brown pants. Hopefully we'll get you better. Oh, my animals can be uh, unrestricted so they can help with the hauling again. Please and thank you. I'm seeing things that are going to starve are animals soon. Uh, what we can do is actually see. I don't know how much there'll be, but we can harvest any sort of berries and stuff that might be about. Oh, uh, do not harvest the plants this early. That would be not great. There's a fair amount of walking to do this, though. Maybe doing that much was bad. Plant cut is a high priority over here. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, Trebo exited the map. Healthy relationships with Peza Braga have improved. Where do we see factions? Peza. They're still hostile. But who knows? Maybe it'll continue to improve. A lot of these people are a little cranky. Mostly because they've probably been injured while being here because of things that have happened. Harvest failed. Lots of berries. I don't have to be cooked, which is nice. Yeah, hopefully we can get that stuff hauled inside. Sooner rather than later. Feeding simple meals. Did all the bodies get brought out? Uh, there's still a few more. I might want to prioritize... Um, hauling people over here. And haul that. Oh. Haul you. There you go, and then you can go back to doing whatever the heck you were doing. Cooking meals, which I'm okay with, actually, since Captain Sledge is currently busy and cannot currently cook meals. We'll get you to do a little bit of that. Brown Pants does not have a lot of cooking skill, but he does have a lot of passion for it. He's already at four, so again, he won't kill anyone with the simple meals, and if he can get up to six, then he'll start cooking fancy meals. It'd be a lot better if you just, like, hauled this stuff as one go. Now, can I get you to haul both of them together? No, they're too far apart, aren't they? Aw, oh, that's frustrating. If they were closer together, he would grab them both. But at least, we, you know, whatever, it's fine. Is that a bear? Well, we're going to let Brown Pants get some sleep at least, even if he's super cranky. Super cranky. He also observed a lot of corpses and rotting corpses because he had to go over here. So that's not great. We're going to kill that bear for meat. Just wait until morning. Hopefully everyone gets a bit of sleep. 
eat their meals. Yeah, then we're going to go after that guy. Oh, let's go right now while he's sleeping. We can set up. I mean, he probably won't just attack us if we get close, but I'm not sure about that. We might be too close. Grizzly Bear Revenge. Uh, yep. Yeah. Who are you attacking? Kahula. Kahula, run away. Keep playing the kiting game. Excellent! Boom! Uh, someone. He's dead, right? Yeah. Haul that. Boom! Alright, I probably could have been a little further away. On the other hand, we would have missed a lot more, so... This we get the nice, like, alpha strike, where basically every single person hits simultaneously on the first go. That's pretty handy. Alright, power situation's fine. I mean, our batteries aren't ever getting full, but we're okay overall. We have to rebuild our guns. That is a pretty high priority, but... I mean, that's the problem with this game. Well, that's the problem and the beauty of this game, right? That's clearly a game done right when everything is a priority. Or, I guess if everything is a priority, nothing's a priority, but... I mean, something's obviously, like, good in the balance, in that there's always something that you need to worry about. Sometimes it gets a little too much. But a lot of times it's just barely right. Someone's really got to haul this stuff out of the doorway. It's kind of annoying me that it's there. Where are you going? You're going to go mine, which I'm totally okay with. We need a lot of steel still, so that's okay. No, I'll just flag the, the next layer as well. Need a lot of steel for these construction jobs I'm putting up here. So that's okay. We are really low on food, and I'm not sure what's going to happen. Well, our potato plants are growing. It's going to be a bit of an air, a time when things are tough. It's a good thing we went and um, grabbed these berries here. It's going to be nice if someone could haul those in before they all rot, but I think we'll be okay. Puppies are helping with the hauling, which is quite nice. Okay, I'm going to go... I mean, the growing and all that is fine. Well, the repairs are mostly done, too. So, really, uh, we're going to haul before you craft. And then over here... Uh, no, the cooking is a higher priority than hauling. Well, no. You know what's happening? They're going and they're grabbing one berry to cook instead of going and grabbing a bunch of things while they're out. So, no, we'll go ahead and bump up the hauling priority. We'll have to keep an eye on our meals. Oh! <gasps> Another bulk goods trader. Yes. Because we can sell some of this clothing. We could sell more if we get more hauled. And we may look at that. Um, oh, no, bulk goods. I'm thinking exotic goods. Um, shoot. I guess we can sell you furs and stuff, but I'd rather make clothing out of this. We should probably spend what money we have on food. So human meat's really cheap. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to spend all my money on this. Unfortunately, meat's way more expensive than vegetation stuff, and it certainly would suck if someone else came after that. It would also be nice to have a little bit of medicine, but they are charging too much for that. So it looks like the cheapest meat we can get is the iguana. No. Rhino meat. Maybe I won't go crazy. I'll save some money in case there's another trader, but about half our money will go to this. And Hula, please go and prioritize hauling this, because I don't want it to be outside get eaten by something. And brown pants, you're going to go and grab that too. Very important. And actually, I don't know where... Uh, oh, you're harvesting a raspberry bush, which is fine. That takes a long time. Come on. How long does it take? Well, actually, it does take a long time to pick raspberries. Uh, haul this one in before you go and grab the next one. I'll feel better if this is all in our base. And brown pants... You're hauling a meal... Oh, yeah, probably from outside, which is good, but I want you to haul more of this raw meat indoors. Temperature in here is still freezer-like. Excellent. Four, negative four degrees. Perfect. Beautiful. Uh, I can make this as another bedroom over here because we don't actually have a prisoner. And uh, cancel that sleep spot, so a little bit less bedroom sharing, maybe. Got most of the rhino meat inside. It's going to spoil in one day. Wow, okay. No, we're going to definitely prioritize bringing all that inside. This is nicely frozen. Beautiful. Good. Brown pants. Fuzzy Logic's actually the most upset right now. Feeling terrible. 
Really? Just ran... Oh, that went away, actually. Luxuriantly comfortable. Do you have a really high quality bed? Superior quality bed. You probably spend a lot of time sitting down as well for your crafting. Actually, there are no... Uh, there's no chair there. I'll, I've got too many things to build, and the chair's not the highest priority, so we'll go ahead and leave that off. That's fine, but I'm happy you're pretty happy. Well, I say that. You're still bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, your rest is basically full, so I'm going to do this, and you'll eat, and then that'll really kick your mood up. I guess the mood doesn't seem to change very much while they sleep. That's interesting. That's very interesting. You're slowly working on the sculpture, but it's getting there. Hopefully it'll be a nice one. What's your actual art skill? 14. Yeah, this should be a really nice sculpture. You Are you slow? You're neurotic, so you actually work faster than normal. Jeez, just art just takes forever, I guess. All right, well, fair enough. And consume a meal, that's fine. No one's being cranky right now, that's great. We don't have a lot of meds. Uh, Fuzzle just dropped into a mental daze for no particular good reason. Also way out here, which is annoying. Yeah, and he'll probably drop all his gear, and it'll be forbidden, and I'll have to tell him to equip a weapon again once the daze goes away. Which is really annoying. Oh, the puppy's going out to grab some things. Lovely. Very nice. Hula's going to harvest a raspberry bush. So, I mean, we only have four meals cooked. Sledge is doing that. I guess because I have your, uh, your hauling set a little higher. Okay, Captain Sledge, I'm going to switch you again. You've got some food in our base. So we're going to switch you back to having cooking as the highest priority. There we go. Go and cook that. There's some clothing there. There's your gun. Actually, I'll keep the gun forbidden. Because when you get out of your day state, I can just have you pick it up and you'll probably be close. Doesn't mean I have to keep babysitting this guy, though. Such... I don't know. I might, like, I'd mod out the days thing, or change the way it changes. I mean, I like the fact that they're sort of just stunned and unavailable for a while. And I keep saying, like, the drop clothing behavior is very entertaining, but it's really just annoying more than anything else. It's funny, but it would be less... It would be funnier, or it'd be, you know, only funny and not annoying if they then dropped themselves again. Oh, Psychic Drone. And what's bad about that is Captain Sledge here is psychically hypersensitive, so he's got a minus 26 from this. So he's probably going to start snapping again, going berserk, smashing things, putting everyone in a bad mood. We don't have any medicine, so we can't fix anyone from the people who get dazed or um, who get attacked by the berserker. Come on, seriously, Fuzzo, get over it. Uh, all right, well, we got lots of plasteel in this map, which is going to be great later on. Right now, our mining is just way too slow, and we don't need the plasteel. We could start making turrets out of whatever plasteel we've got. Um, they're a little bit more durable, but I haven't found that makes enough of a difference. You still end up, you know, they tend to get smashed, and then you've just lost plasteel, which is not great. Where thrombos, we could attack them. Get some pretty valuable materials out of that, but the risk is pretty high. Seriously, Fuzzo. Oh my god, how long are you going to be out there? You're probably starving to death and tired. You're going to pass out. Son of a bitch. Come on, buddy. You weren't even that miserable. That happened before the psychic drone. Meals, okay, getting up there, excellent, good to see. Brown Pants is the one who's the crankiest. Uncomfortable, lacks a bionic cyber body part. Yeah, we're working on it. Well, we're not working on it that much, actually. You're still dazed, holy shit. That state lasts a lot longer than I expected. There's a thrombo. It would be nice to heal, kill, kill him and get like the horn and the fur and all that, really valuable stuff, but it's probably too much of a risk. I don't know, maybe we can do the kite thing. But we have too many people in a bad mood, too liable to get injuries from various things, and that could really slow us down right now. Seriously, Fuzzo, what the fuck, man? Get over it already. I'm gonna rename you to... Oh, there's your pants. I'm gonna rename you to... Ah, uh, oh, thank God. Um, and a shirt. To, um... What do you call it? Toxic Fallout Man. Because your bad state just never goes away. There we go, grab that. And then go to bed. At least, you know, you haven't died. And you're gonna put on some clothes from here instead of the other one, but that's okay. As long as you get dressed, eat a meal, then go to bed. Could be worse. Of course, I'm still expecting a bad event to hit now, like a real attack, because we don't have our guns again yet, which is really shitty. 
What the? Oh, electrical short. Uh, okay, well. I think I'm gonna have to wake everyone up and get them to fight the fire. Quick, 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 quick. Thank you. And repair that. Good. Hopefully, you know, some people might not have gotten enough sleep. Uh, animals are unrestricted. Good. Meals are there. We have some food, which is nice. How close are we to harvest? 90% grown on potato plants. What are we? 11th of the summer? Oh, the leader of the hamlet at the ridge has died and been replaced by someone else. That's a new type of notice. Very cool. As far as I can tell, our relationships haven't been reset by that or anything, but... Fuzzo. About to break. Feeling terrible. At least you got a good bed. No joy right now. Well, you're not going to snap in your sleep. So it's probably fine to just let that rest continue to accrue, and hopefully you'll, you'll go and work yourself some joy as soon as you wake up. I wonder if I should put in a little bit more, like, enforced joy time right now. That's not a bad idea. Oh, I never set brown pants to be on the same sort of schedule as everyone else. What time is it right now? Let's go and say... Oh, yeah, I can't box select. I was trying to box drag over here. We're going to put a two-hour window in the middle of the day where you're enforced a little bit of joy. Maybe you'll throw a party, maybe you'll play chess together, hopefully you'll develop a little bit more relationship, and hopefully having high joy will help to offset some of the psychic bullshit going on. Are you harvesting something? You're harvesting rice plants. Some rice plants, not all of them. Wonderful. Really, really wonderful. And you replant Hahula while you're out here. Why don't you go and haul some of this? We didn't get a whole lot from these stacks. These are micro stacks. But at least we got something. Some of the harvest failed outright. You have to check to see the, the harvest rules and how they work. As far as I know, there's not much... I mean, I guess part of the problem is we don't have a whole lot of people anywhere with any kind of skill. I guess maybe I'll turn off the grow. I think plant cut is actually what gets used for that, though. And obviously plant cut is something... I'm not sure. If I turn this off... The plant cut. I think it's the growing. Is you still doing it? And then you're going to go rest. I'm just curious if anyone goes and harvests. And I think the answer is no. Yeah, now I turned it back on, now you harvest. So it is the plant cut skill that is used. That, I don't, I'm don't. not sure if it actually affects the, the chance of failure or not. I don't know. But we obviously need the things to actually get harvested and not die on the vine here. Okay, so we're nearing the end of summer. We haven't gotten an early cold snap, which is nice. Potatoes are still ready to be harvested, which is wonderful. So I think... I mean, we're not going to starve to death instantly. This is not enough food... To make it through the winter. It's really not. But it's getting there. It's getting there. How's our... Who's our chief constructor? I think it's Jeff with 14. Tell you what, Jeff. Actually, why don't you construct before you art? If I need anything built, please do that. Or you're going to deconstruct it. I'd much prefer you worked on this bed. Because we need an extra bedroom. And we've got a couple who want to share a bedroom. So, the sooner you can do that, the happier I'll be. Good quality. Hey, I'll take it. So, I don't remember who is in the relationship. Uh, social. Lover. So, so, Hahula and Auyuri. Oh, an ex-lover, Seabreeze. Oh, yeah, who died. Aww. So, if I sent owner to Hahula... Because it's double bed, you can just set two owners. Okay, so now Ahula and Oyuri, these are this is your bedroom. So I'm actually going to reset both of you, and we can get rid of that. And I mean, they might they might not go to bed because of the time, and they're not tired enough or whatever. But they will have that bedroom in the future, and that's great. So you're going to go deconstruct some stuff now. Whether or not I should still have this job, I'm not sure. It is nice to get a bunch of free blocks though, and then you're going to go right to sleeping. Oh, because you're in the sleep phase of the schedule. Yeah, it was a long walk out here. 
to basically do nothing. I don't know, I like the free blocks, but we've got too much going on right now. Well, shit. I keep saying that, but you know, we've got enough going on right now that maybe spending a bunch of time cutting blocks is not something we've got time for. And it is pretty easy to get. Well, you know what I should do is get these guys, because that's really close. And that's actually pretty close here, too. Let's deconstruct all that stuff. Might have to go back to buy the rotting bodies, which wouldn't be fantastic, but it's not so bad, right? Gonna go mine some steel. Excellent. How's your mood? Opinion of my lover. Being my lover makes being with my lover makes me feel this way. So that's great. I wonder if they're gonna get that as a permanent boost because they are technically sharing a bedroom now. That is a really huge mood boost. And we got some more crops. And we're not getting huge chunks of them, but you know, we'll take what we can get. Puppy's gonna help. Wonderful. Really wonderful. Food, actually quite a bit in there. Captain Sledge, I'm going to go, I think I'm going to take the food job and just put it on uh, pause for a bit now. I did leave some potatoes. Oh, there we go. It got stored. Excellent. It's word they were just going to go to waste. You're going to carry some components. Excellent. And mine out some more. Okay, well, we're going to put a cut in here. <sighs> All right. We still don't have a lot of defenses reset up over here, which is too bad. Okay, we're going to keep it like this. Hannah will, or Hahula will still do a lot of hauling. I wish I could have Hahula do some more interesting work than just hauling, because she's great, or he's great at a lot of things. Keep getting the genders mixed up here, because the names um, just sounding the way they are. Just like, Jeff must be a man, right? No, Jeff is female. Um, uh, Hahula can do a lot of great stuff, and it would be great if Hahula could do that, as opposed to just hauling while well, growing right now, which... Um, actually... Since apparently plant cutting is what you use to harvest, let's just turn off growing for now. Because obviously, none, there's no more plants are going to have time to grow at this point. So assuming you still harvest, I don't think the corn's going to be ready. I don't think anything else is going to be ready, so I don't think the harvesting is a thing anymore. But yeah, don't bother replanting. It's going to be a complete and utter waste of time right now. Uh, this auto door doesn't have power. Can I tell you to reconnect? Oh, you'll reconnect to that because it's the closest. Hold on. We do need to run a power cable out here to do that. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, hauling, constructing, deconstructing. All still good. I would love to get a lot of that done before the, before the winter sets in. We do need to get our security set up again. The mining's still good. I don't know. Overall, I think we're doing a lot of important jobs to actually advance, right? Sometimes you're doing jobs just to survive, and I think we've been able to do some jobs to actually advance in the last little bit, and that makes me really excited. We don't really need to prioritize that. That's going to be okay. So the problem means there's another disaster right around the corner, but at least things are moving forward. We still need to build the advanced research bench. Probably research is faster. I mean, I don't know that for sure, but I'm suspecting. This crafting spot we're never using for anything, apparently, so we can go ahead and do that. Um, that'll be a good plot spot for the advanced research bench then. But we'll put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching another episode, folks. See you next time.